And finally, before I turn things over to Commissioner Wamber, <clears throat> I'd like to take a moment to talk about where we are with respect to one question that's come into us and that I've seen on social media quite a bit. And that is where we stand with boosters for COVID-19 vaccine. Well, the bottom line there is that over the next week, all of us will be learning much more about the scientific data that surrounds boosters. There are a number of questions right now. For example, are the vaccines that we've all been taking and have been talking about still effective? Thankfully, the early data there continue to suggest that the answer to that question about that whether vaccines remain effective is a resounding yes. Another question though, is our booster doses needed? And if so, for whom? This is in many ways the key question. Right now, there are four variables that surround this question around booster doses. The first question is for what age groups might boosters be indicated? Right now, the discussion is around boosters should be available to those either 16 and up or perhaps to a smaller subset of folks, say for example, those 65 and over. The second question is which vaccines are we talking about? Right now, the US FDA has only received an application from Pfizer to administer booster doses for their COVID-19 vaccine. Although we may see applications from Moderna and J&J, &J, right now, there are not yet sufficient data to help us answer these questions. The third question is with what time period since receipt of the second dose should a booster be administered? The discussion right now is around whether that time period should be six months after you got your second dose or perhaps something a bit longer, like eight months. And then the final question is whether folks who are in specific locations, like for example, nursing homes or perhaps healthcare workers, whether they should receive boosters if one of the other criteria that I mentioned don't apply. From a process perspective, there are a couple of steps moving forward. Right now, we don't have answers to those questions. But over the next week, the US FDA and the US CDC's advisory committees will be, meet, meet, will be meeting to review the data as it currently stands. We'll have better senses on the answers to those questions and what they mean over the next seven or eight days. But here's what you need to know right now today. Although there's a lot of discussion and a lot of questions around boosters, boosters are not a medical emergency. They are important, but they are not the, pa the pathway out of the pandemic at this point. So what is the pathway out of the pandemic? Well, as much as boosters are in the news, our focus remains as much as on first doses as it does on third doses. First doses, primary vaccines, will be the way that we find ourselves out of the COVID tunnel. That's because you can't get a booster until you've had your first two doses. And that's why we are just as much focused on getting folks their first shot as we are their third shot. There will undoubtedly be more information coming out about boosters as these various federal advisory committees meet. And as they conduct their analysis and make recommendations to the US FDA and the US CDC, we'll be here to provide updates for everyone. I, mean, I know Dr. Shah had talked a lot about that yesterday, basically saying it's not a medical emergency. You know, right. we don't we don't need to get these right now. We would it would be more helpful if more people got their first dose. Um, yeah. But then just the other night, you know, on NBC News, we were hearing companies like Pfizer and Moderna. You know, and Pfizer is the only one that has the booster shot approved. But Pfizer and Moderna saying that yes, eventually the effectiveness of the immunity yeah. does wane. <laughs> so can you help people who are 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 
kind of stuck here saying, well, wait a minute, yeah. do I need the booster shot or not? Yeah. And when do I get it? I know there's the eight, six months yeah. uh, differential. So yeah. what, what would you tell people right now? So right now, if you are moderately or severely immunocompromised, so you've had a, uh, an organ like a kidney transplant, um, or you're on immunosuppressant medications, uh, particularly chronically, then you, know, you, you may qualify for a third dose of vaccine. And you should talk to your primary care provider about that. Otherwise, we're going to learn a lot more in the next several days. So the FDA is meeting on Friday, this Friday, to meet on and go through the data on the booster shots. And then the US CDC, we believe, will be meeting next week on it. So within the next week to 10 days, we'll know a lot more about for whom the third the, the, the booster shots um, will be recommended. Um, the third dose right now is recommended, again, for people who are immunocompromised. But we'll know a lot more about the booster shot and for whom that is recommended in the next week to 10 days. There's no urgency to it. Um, there's, uh, you know, but we do know that these vaccines are holding up well in terms of preventing hospitalizations and deaths, um, and whether a booster shot will help uh, improve the efficacy um, is, we'll be learning a lot more from the US CDC and FDA in the next few days. Um, cool. Yeah, I think that that's kind of the, I, I don't want to push too much more on it if it's basically we're waiting for more data, right? Yeah, okay. yeah that's what we're waiting for. So we'll know a lot more soon. Um, and then and we'll know more tomorrow, actually, after they meet tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with. But, you know, the data are, are you know, somewhat impressive coming out of Israel, but it's not all the data. And the FDA has other data that they should, you know, we look forward to, I look forward to, to seeing. So. You know